Two Buck Chuck at Trader Joe's is going to kill you. Inexpensive wine brands could contain up to five times more arsenic, a known carcinogen, than the amount the Environmental Protection Agency permits in drinking water. One expert noted, the lower the price of wine on a per liter basis, the higher the amount of arsenic. Though arsenic is found naturally in our air, soil, and water in large amounts, it can increase the risk of heart disease, cancer, respiratory illness, and other health problems. All right, so this story actually did scare me because before I became a huge YouTube star and now drink the $8 bottle of yes. Trader Joe's wine, I drank <laughs> a tremendous amount of Two Buck Chuck. Mm. I mean, a lot. Too much for an adult. Yeah, my nickname uh, in college, Two Buck Chuck. Two <laughs> Buck Chuck. I mean, so they're arsenic. You shouldn't be drinking arsenic, should you? Uh, technically, no. I should not be drinking arsenic. But Why? I find it so refreshing. But, but my <laughs> Cleanse the palate. Yes. Like, literally out of your head. Yes, your tongue falls out. Totally. Exactly. Should, this, should this maybe not surprise us? Like, if you drink, wine shouldn't no. cost $2. And actually, no. I, I read something somewhere that said that Trader Joe's 2 uh, Chuck technically, by the technical definition of what wine is, it doesn't even technically qualify. Yeah, it's Hawaiian punch. It's, it's like some, they're doing something. It is grapes, and they're, well, it's is it Well, it's the grapes that are actually uh, not, they get the worst grapes that are thrown away from everything right. else. It's, I don't all know, but I, don't want, I love Trader Joe's, so I don't want to, I don't want to yeah. make but, this all about no, Trader awesome. Joe's. But, but here's the bigger news story. Yeah. Guess what, people? Cheap wine is going to kill you anyway. <laughs> right, right. Oh, right, for other reasons, you mean. Yes, it's going to ruin your liver. Yeah. You don't need the arsenic. Nick part. It's going to ruin your liver. Wait, and wine it, in general or cheap wine? Cheap though? wine, because guess what? If you're drinking cheap wine, you probably drink a lot of it. Yeah. And it's, you know, people have been drinking Ripple for a long time and been dying of, uh, you know, yeah. cirrhosis of the liver. So, so, when, I, I so when you see a story like this, how do you then even go, all right, I'm not going to drink the two buck chuck, right? I'm not going to do that. But is the $6, I mean, this is what everyone says with wines all the time. Like, does a $58 bottle at a restaurant, is that going to be any better for you? Is I'm that just, the next step? It's going to be like ranked? By health? Pour yeah. through a Brita filter. I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you buy the that's cheapest ass stuff you can find, whether it's vodka or whatever, just pour it through a Brita filter. Maybe, a, they, maybe they could sponsor the show. I'm not sure that scientific no? people, just it, for the record, don't Brita? do that. No one? Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, if you're drinking one or two glasses of wine a night, I think you're going to be okay. It's all about moderation. You shouldn't be drinking a lot of alcohol anyway. It's not good for you people. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly, someone who's also not going to get their dog stoned. I, yeah. I, that I have to disagree with. Uh, also, I, just wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything being equal, most of the drinking that I've done in LA since I've moved is to LA ha is at your house. So Ooh. I'm not exactly Ooh, sure that just happened. Where you mean? By but you're, but you're, but you're drinking decent wine there. I'm guessing. I do. That's drink also true. Wine. It See, is so there you go. I mean, she yeah. gets a lot of Kelly. You know, wonderful person has these incredible. <laughs> we've talked about it before when we're on these incredible community type. I would call them garden parties. Called the. Uh, the poly parties and people are always bringing gifts. So they, they bring like nice wine. Decent they bring like wine. Fran Francis Ford Coppola, none of this two buck chucks. Yeah, yeah. you'll, but you'll do, be okay. Do you, remember, right. okay. do you remember that just recently, I guess it was last year, they did a blind taste test where they had box wine yes. versus like a $30 bottle yeah. and people could not pick the difference. Yep. Yeah. So it's not about the taste and to take the arsenic, I think I read the take the arsenic out of the wine it's it's like it's literally like a contractor doesn't spend the extra twenty cents a foot to put copper, uh, the better grade of copper in your walls uh, that leak you know ten years later. It wouldn't cost them that much, right? So do we retrofit need, the wine. So is this one of these things? I'm not for overregulation, but do we need like the FDA or somebody like right? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like right? Like they look at every fruit juice that everyone drinks. Sure. They are our fine water, with our corn, yeah. high fructose corn syrup, and our Absolutely. water certainly. So do we need them to jump in here and start dealing with the wine people? Smack some wine people around, I say. You want the wine yeah. people to be smacked Let's around. do it. I, Let's I, do I it. think part yeah. of the roadside sterilization of white people should be a nice glass of two-buck chuck. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know about the roadside sterilization of white people, that was in our white people segment we did earlier. There's a <laughs> thing right over here, and it's down below also. Uh, anyway, two-buck chuck, is it killing you? Let us know in the comments right down below.